Now let's get straight into it. The first of the four is planes of movement. So traditionally bodybuilding, which is a methodology to enhance your muscle mass. Uh, and definitely as transition coaches, we lean on bodybuilding methods to increase body armor for contact, particularly contact sports like Australian rules football. So although we do lean on the philosophy, planes of movement is fairly uh, irrelevant for bodybuilders because the, the whole idea is to be able to focus on your aesthetics, whereas for Australian rules football, it's 360 degrees. You need to ha be able to be agile, mobile, to pick up ground balls, um, be able to sidestep opponents, and, of course, lay tackles. So if you're um, doing traditional bodybuilding movements, you'll notice that they're very up and down in nature, thinking squats, push-ups, chin-ups, whereas as footballers, we do those movements as fundamental because they're really good for improving your maximal force production, really good for improving your explosive power because uh, they're super stable and they prioritize using your large muscle groups. Number two out of the four key tips for, for those wanting to gain body armor but also maintain your on-field performance is make sure to use your full range of motion, uh, particularly in pre-season where we are trying to add that critical mass uh, on athletes. There isn't the game day load um, on a weekly basis. So the first half of the week, we're not spending majority of the time on recovery. We can we can get some good sessional load in both on the field and in the gym. So therefore, by going through full range of motion, it's going to be really good from a stimulus point of view for those who want to gain muscle mass. So if, for example, let's say doing a push-up rather than working on explosive power, we might do half range to be able to produce force as quick as possible. We want to go slow and controlled, so think of time and tension on the way down and make sure the chest goes all the way through to the ground. Now, if you're doing that comfortably, to increase the range of motion, you might have your hands on weight plates for that push-up. So now you're getting through even further range of motion, really stretching out your pecs, and that's going to elicit a better uh, growth stimulus for those uh, chest muscles as well as your back and shoulders. Number three, maximal loads and explosive movements. So we don't want to just lift 12 reps on the leg press like a bodybuilder would do, where they would progressively overload how many, how much weight's on the bar, uh, uh, the time of detention, um, but the exercise would, would stay the same. For us, at times, you'll, you'll work on those rep ranges, maybe in the off-season, but once we get into in-season, we want to be focusing on keeping our reps under 10 and focusing on progressively overloading your fundamental movements. So those big movements that you're doing in the gym, the more bodybuilding, power-building movements, we're not focusing on hypertrophy. We're focusing on building your strength, so how, how much force you can produce into the ground, how much force you can produce in your pressing movements to help things like jumping, acceleration, and fend off. So for our key lifts, we're thinking athleticism. And then we want to contrast those with explosive movements. I think med ball throws, plyometrics, jumps. So all those big ticket items, we're prioritizing their athleticism. Number four, bracing. Sorry, I was just checking my notes there. Bracing is the key. So we want to be focusing on pushing out and expanding rather than sucking in like you're trying to impress someone on the beach, tops off, and you're trying to show your six pack. So it's for our compound lifts, which will really help you for the contest, for being able to maintain your feet, be able to push people off, uh, and, jo and and really jostle your, your way into dominate the contest. It's not about six pack training like crunches and um, doing side raises and hanging leg raises and things. Or those the, the, although they have their place, their accessories. So typically we do them at the end of the program, where we want to work on our uh, athleticism to help with our uh, midline. We're thinking things where you have to actually brace and expand. So think about uh, pushing out. Um, with your trunk not sucking in okay so we're pushing out so things like um, heavy your heavy lifts so box squats particularly anything weight that, that's on your spine we want to be bracing really strong and focusing on your trunk 